What's up guys? Welcome to a green tea episode. Today I was gonna start this uh, video out in a true moment homage, homage, and get a iced chai tea from my favorite coffee shop downtown, but they closed early today and that made Brittany and I very sad. So we went over to the co-op and we got this green tea and some other tea and we stuffed it all in our new bag. So I imagine right about now there's probably a bunch of other videos on some similar these things looking things <laughs> dropping right about now. But I figured I would go ahead and give you my take on Moment's new travel wear. Travel wear line, travel wear, MTW, Moment travel wear. So Moment sent me some of their new stuff and they asked me if I wanted to try any of this stuff out. And they had a bunch of stuff to choose from. They had like tote bags and bags and inserts and all kinds of stuff. And um, I'm definitely not a tote bag kind of guy. <laughs> so I went for the regular backpack and I went for the 21 liter because I figured that's the biggest option they have and I'm a pretty large mammal. So I went with that. I also figured this bag would be kind of really good for maybe somebody like Brittany or even Tristan, my son, he's like 12 and we like to skate around town. And uh, this moment bag is a really great, I think, day bag, day pack, day bag for city life, urban life. And I am definitely not living the city urban life. I live in a town, 10,000 people on a good day, but we still do a lot of traveling and there are plenty of days where one of us three just wishes we had a smaller bag than this. This is my go-to bag, my Shimoda. And that's just too much sometimes. <laughs> this is so much more manageable. All right, enough rambling, let's get into it. So what are we doing here? I'm gonna go over how, I'm gonna go over some of the things about the bags, the new moment line that I like, some of the things that I don't like. And before we go any farther, I definitely wanna make it known that this is not sponsored. They are not paying me, there's no contracts. I can say whatever I want. They sent me these uh, for free, of course, so that I can try them out. So I just wanna get that out of the way real quick so that you know that uh, everything coming out of here and coming from here is all me. So let's get into it. Okay, so here's the bag. I will say I love the materials of this bag. I love the build quality. These zippers right here are phenomenal. They're just what you would expect for a super solid bag. And it's really good to see that they took the extra care and thought into uh, putting this beefy zipper on there. So I really like that. And then the rest of the zippers, they're not as hardcore in terms of the water resistance, although I can still see the seal there, but they're covered by this flappy bit here. So I think that'll help a lot. And then inside, this is probably my favorite thing about the bag is it's not a camera bag completely, but it does have this camera insert that you can purchase separately and it'll pull that out. I'll go through. So that's really cool because you have this right here. It's kind of a pain to do and undo it, especially this bit right here. It takes a bit of fighting, but there it is. So here's the insert and I really enjoy this insert a lot. Uh, not just for this bag, but if I wanna throw it into another bag, if I wanna throw it into one of Brittany's bags or one of Tristan's bags for his camera or anything like that. Here, here's the other piece to it. So it has these dividers and you can put those in anywhere you want. So one of the things that I really like about the dividers is that Moment had, again, the thought put into this is pretty cool. They have these little pouches right here, these little slippers for something like this. So I've got a lot of different filters here. Uh, I've got, I got some Polar Pro filters. I got some Nisi filters. And of course, I have my moment filter. So my moment variable ND filter, and again, not sponsored, just this is all the gear that I have. I really dislike these cases. 
Um, I think they're great because they're solid for travel or packing or whatever, you know, the nice hard cases. But I really don't like carrying my filters in those cases because unscrewing them is just such a pain and it just, I just, I don't like it. So what's cool about this is that if you just have a regular filter and it could be any one of these filters if I didn't want this case or this case or whatever, I can just take this filter and I can just slide it right in there like that and then they'll stay and they'll be semi padded or protected there. And then if I wanted to grab a lens or something and then throw that in there, it's good to go. But that is not how I have this insert configured. I have it configured for one of my cameras here. So I'm filming this with the R5 and then this guy with the RP. So I have the RP and the 16 to 35 on here like that because that's usually the camera Brittany will reach for when we're vlogging or when she's filming me. So that's how I have this set up. And then again, a little bit of room in here if I wanna throw some extra filters or something in there then that's good to go for this insert. I also, like I said before, with the insert, I really enjoy how sturdy it is and how they designed the clippy bits to go inside here. Because when it is clipped in, it feels really secure and I don't feel like it's gonna be shaking around. I feel comfortable enough that I can ride my bike or my skateboard or walk around or do a little bit of uh, short hiking or whatever and know that my camera in its little insert in this bag is gonna feel good and protected. And then I just love having inserts anyways because I have a lot of other bags and if I wanted to throw this even in my Shimoda, in the top of my Shimoda bag, I could do that to carry even extra gear or give it to Tristan or Brittany in one of our uh, day bags, our Osprey bags, our, our backpacking bags. So these inserts are really handy for that. Another thing that I love about the bag is that it stands up on its own. So I really enjoy the nice flat bottom that they put. I wish they would have done a little bit more of a weather sealed bottom, kind of like the Tenbas and the Shimodas and a little bit more beefy on the bottom if you're gonna have it be a stand up bag, um, just in case you wanted to put it down and it's raining or it's dirty or it's muddy or it's snowy or whatever, that would have just been a little extra, but it's okay. It still feels pretty solid. I don't feel like anything's gonna break through there or anything. The bottom is nice and padded. So these are the kind of things that I look for in a day bag like that. There's plenty of extra pockets and stuff in here. Oh my God, so moment when they sent me this, they loaded this thing up with candy and I was gonna film it, but uh, Tristan, my son, got to it before I could do that and he was already just pulling all the candy out. So that was awesome. I was not expecting that at all. So huge props for a moment for the snacks because uh, I do appreciate me some snacks. But anyways, there was a ton. I guess that was their way of making sure that I got all the pockets discovered. So, and then we've got another side front pouch here for all kinds of stuff. And we've got an even smaller little half pouchy pouch here that you can put phone or passport or whatever in there, all kinds of stuff. And then we've got the extra flap here. You've got the space where you would put the pens or whatever else you put in there, notebook or phone or whatever. And then we've got water bottle, or in my case, uh, tea. This will fit a full liter bottle and a slightly larger than a liter bottle, which was good. I think one thing that would have been cool, maybe if they would have put like a little strap right here in case you did want to throw a tripod on this side and use the pocket instead, I think that would have been cool, but I'm certainly not gonna nitpick about that. If you have a travel tripod, uh, like the little Benro, travel tripod that I use or me photo or anything like that. You could definitely throw those into here next to uh, in the main compartment or whatever and they'll fit. So last thing about the bag is it's moderately comfortable. It's really well made of course. Uh, it's got the nice it's got the nice breathable pad through here that you can you know, vent air ventilation for the back pad which is really nice. It's got them on the shoulders a little bit too which is nice. The shoulder straps, they feel really solid. Um, they're good, you can grab one and if you got it weighted down, you know, that's kind of nice. This handle is really solid. Even though it feels, it looks a little flimsy, it feels really solid. I had this thing weighted down with 
15, 20 pounds or so and still was able to pick it up by the handle really comfortably and not have an issue there. Where I personally don't feel super comfortable is the, st the straps on me are fine. Uh, like I said, I'm a large mammal, I'm six foot one and I got a big long wide torso and wide shoulder blades. So, you know, I don't have a problem with that, but Brittany definitely has a problem with that. So I do believe that on the Moment website, they mentioned that they have women specific. So that might be something that you would look into if you are a woman, borderline questionably small woman like Brittany. She's like five foot, five foot one. She's super tiny. And the straps, the straps here definitely hang over her shoulder blades and she said that when it was weighted down with this size, the 21 liter and this non-women specific, it definitely weighed her down a bit and push, it was, it was uncomfortable for someone of her petite size. So that's just something to keep in mind. Like I said, I'm pretty sure that they said that Moment mentioned that they have women specific straps. So you might wanna look into that. Don't quote me on that because I haven't uh, found out for 100%. All right, enough of the bag. Let's get to the stuff that I'm really excited about because I've been kind of a disorganized mess lately with my bag. And the other part of Moment Travel Wear is these guys. So let's talk about what these are and what I'm gonna do with them. Okay, so here's my normal bag. This is the bag that I rock every day, all day. This is the best bag I've ever had in my life. Sorry, moment. <laughs> I love you guys, but you don't have nothing to compete with a Shimoto right now. But it's a different thing, you know? I'm, I'm not gonna compare bags to this at all because this isn't a full-on extreme adventure bag. I digress. I do have Pop-Tarts. I wanna make sure I pull those out before I crush them. They're probably already crushed, but crushed Pop-Tarts are fine in my book. So Moment has created these little travel inserts, these little travel packs. And this one, they've got a couple slots here, a couple slots here, no zippy bits. So I don't know what I'm gonna do with that, but it's super small. I like that they're varying in size. Then they've got this one, which is super large, and it's got some good zippy bits in here, and it's got a flappy bit with these things here and then it's got some pockets so this one is quite large um oh this one is the battery pack that i think i think they said niles designed this specifically and i think they were pretty proud of the color coding for being able to put your dead batteries in here and the red because red means dead and then and then putting your good batteries in the black and they don't overlap because the red goes underneath the black and then a chargey bit and memory card slots and maybe filter slots, I don't know. But I have a lot of random things in here. So let's see, let's see what I have in here. Okay, that was everything in the top part of the bag. So let's see if I can fit some of this in these compartments. This is a lot of stuff. <laughs> oh my God. I think this would be like Peter McKinnon's nightmare. He's such an organized, like methodical, laid out, concise creature. <laughs> it's like the pure opposite of me. All right, so what do we have here? We've got a capsule, definitely can't put that in there. So that's a motion control time-lapse thing. We'll throw that back in the top part. We've got some stuff like this, the uh, power banks, the, the smaller power banks. We've got a lot of Loom Cube lights. So I have the Loom Cube 2.0, Loom Cube Air, Loom Cube Panel Mini. I've got the panel right here, which is just out of frame lighting. I've got a headlight. That probably won't go in one of those. We'll keep that down there. I got another Loom Cube. I've got another Loom Cube, Air, and then I've got all of these accessories like the diffusers, the different diffuser. So we've got a lot of lights. I don't think that's really gonna fit very well unless we just threw them in this pouch. They might. 
and put all the like diffusers and stuff like that in this pouch. All right, since this is turning out to be a lighting pack, I'm gonna take that out. I'm gonna throw it in here like that. That's my panel mini. And then this extra pack, put right here and then slip this guy in there. Now we have a pouch that might close. <laughs> All right, so probably not what they had in mind for that, but it works and uh, that's much more concise and easy to find than digging around in the top of my Shimoda. So being able to keep this as a lighting pouch for now is pretty cool. Can't fit my panel in there, but I know I can fit everything. So what do we have left? We've got memory card holder, We've got some drone filters. We've got some more drone filters, CPL. That's a part to a broken tripod. More drone filters. We've got the 37 millimeter filters that go on my phone that attach to the moment case. We've got uh, some filter adapters or lens adapters for phones that don't have cases. So I'm thinking that kind of stuff can go in this little one. I can throw some of these filters in here and this little adapter thingy in here and the other filter in here. So I use those a lot and I use my drone filters a lot. So I could put a couple of those like so. So this could be like my extra little filter bag. And that's pretty cool. And then I could either just throw this whole thing in there like so and then zip that up. I don't know if that's a copy bit in there. So little filter pouch is a check. All right, last pouch is the battery pouch. So I do happen to have a few batteries here. So I know this one is charged and this one is charged. So I could throw those in there. I got batteries for my R5, my RP, the R6, 5D4. 1DX2 batteries are not gonna fit in here for this, uh, but I don't really use that too much anymore, especially since I got the R5. More memory cards. A charger slot, I, that's not gonna fit my charger. That'll fit the charger for, here, let's see, that'll probably fit this charger, which is for my RP, which I can wrap up like so and stick in there. So that'll fit the RP charger, but that's not gonna fit my 5D4 charger. Stuff like that, that will fit. All right. Batteries and charger pouch, check. All right, so that in a really long nutshell is my first look at the Moment Travel Wear stuff. That's how I'm gonna be rocking it. So I briefly mentioned this before, but like I said, I personally think this is more of a city bag type deal. Obviously, this stuff, it doesn't matter what you're throwing it in or where you're taking it or anything like that. But personally, that's the only downside to this bag is I, would not use it for, uh, basically I really wouldn't take this out of the city. Like I wouldn't take this on any hikes that I do because I live in the mountains and I like, I definitely like a, uh, a waist strap down here, you know, something that can really solidify. It does have this uh, shoulder strap, chest strap, but it's really awkward to use. And um, I'm not really stoked on the chest strap. Although once you get it on there and you get it secure, it definitely helps a little bit. But like, you know, I, I ride bikes, I skateboard a lot, and um, I don't know how comfortable I would feel skating or riding bikes, you know, with this thrashing around on me and being loose right here. That was something that uh, I never really was stoked on bags that didn't have that for that kind of motion. That's just one of the slight downsides. I, I wish even if it was a flimsy strap like this thin or something that they could have put uh, the waist strap on there because I think you know if you are living city life then there is a good chance that you're uh, riding two wheels or four wheels somehow and um, getting that extra motion in and that would just really help cinch this down just a little bit more. Okay now I'm really done because I gotta go do dinner but hopefully that gave you a good first look at these new bags and the new travel wear line from Moment. 
I think they're going in a great direction here. I think they're really opening up. Uh, I would also maybe like to see a tripod mount somehow. I think I mentioned that on here. Uh, but other than those few little nitpicks, I think this is a great little bag for the kind of person that would need it. City life, day life, creator life, student life, all of that kind of stuff. Uh, I think that's a great little bag. And more importantly, I just love that you can buy these accessories uh, separately and then mix them with your own system, which is definitely what I'm gonna do. I think that's really smart move by moment. And I think that you just can't go wrong with stuff like this, with the organization. It's just so helpful, especially to me because my life and my camera bag are quite chaotic. <laughs> Anyways, if you guys have any questions about any of the stuff that I went over today, if you wanna check out the links, I do believe this is a Kickstarter that should be live by the time this video goes live. So that'll be down below. Uh, the link for their website for all of this stuff to the Kickstarter page will have all of the super in-depth detail about probably the right details <laughs> like and using it the way that they intended you to use it. Uh, but all that stuff will be down below. If you have any questions about anything that i missed or you want to know about it leave those in the comments you know i'll definitely answer them and if you super enjoy all of my stuff make sure you hit that like button subscribe i've got new videos every week and if you like super ultra double ultra even more like my stuff <laughs> then i definitely have the memberships available now and i do a lot of cool stuff with the members including uh, extra content editing videos deep dives a lot of the stuff that i just can't do on the regular YouTubes and a lot of more uh, personal one-on-one -on -one interaction, you know, that kind of thing. And discounts to all of my preset packs, sky libraries, and even my photography workshops. So if you guys are ever interested in upping your photography game or you like the way I edit and you wanna check out some presets, all of those are there. And the YouTube memberships definitely have discounts on those. Workshops, I got a lot of great stuff coming up. That's enough plugs, I'm starving. I've been staring at these Pop-Tarts like the whole time I've been making this video. So it's time for tea, Pop-Tarts, and I gotta make dinner and edit this video. <laughs> All right, I'll see you guys in the next one.